Hey guys, welcome back to Electrico Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, will be a super helpful video to you guys if you have any of the following two codes. I'm talking about code P0126 or code P0128, guys. If you have any of those two codes, we'll explain, guys, how to fix that. Now, we'll demonstrate on a 2.4 multi air engine, guys. And that same engine, that same 2.4 multi air engine, guys, is used in multiple vehicles, and I'll name a few. Dodge Dart, Chrysler 200, Jeep Cherokee, Jeep Renegade, Jeep Compass, Dodge Ram Pro Master City, Fiat 500X and Fiat Toro pickup in Brazil guys as well. Now all these vehicles use that 2.4 engine guys, so quite a few vehicles use it and very popular engine and if you have any of the following two codes we will show you guys how to uh, fix that. Quick introduction, every single car guys, every single car we get at the shop including this one here we take them completely apart Why we do that. Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, guys, and uh, like the video. Hopefully, the information will be helpful. Leave a comment, let us know, guys. If you need to buy replacement parts, tools, anything like that to fix your vehicle, check out the link in the description of the video below. We will share it for your convenience. So this right here now, guys, it's 2015 Dodge Dart that we will demonstrate on. And uh, we will show you guys how to uh, fix these two codes. Now, if you guys remove the engine cover, okay, you're going to find out, okay, more room. And you can look at the engine in a little bit better angle. What these two codes say, guys, they say, both of them state that uh, the engine coolant, guys, cannot reach certain temperature for a stable engine operation. What that means, it means that the engine coolant, the cooling system guys in the car actually stays cold, colder than it should be. Let's say if we talk in Celsius, it needs to reach 80 degrees Celsius for stable operation, but it can't. And that could happen usually guys during cold winter months, uh, on the, especially highway driving. This is guys because you have a fault somewhere in the engine and we will explain where. Uh, now, uh, what can cause that now guys? Okay, the most common thing is thermostat. A bad thermostat can cause that. Okay, and the thermostat, guys, okay, is located down there in the middle. Now, we have an engine that we just did an engine replacement on another uh, vehicle with the same 2.4 engine. It's not this one, but it's the same engine, guys. That's why we know it's been used in so many vehicles. If you look at the engine, guys, okay, what we look at now, okay, let me show you. If you come right here, guys, okay, you can see this is, guys, your thermostat. That thermostat is what controls the temperature of the coolant inside the engine, guys. So when it reaches a certain temperature, that therm uh, temperature, that thermostat opens and cold coolant comes to the engine and the hot coolant goes in the radiator so it can cool. But if that thermostat is stuck open, guys, what will happen? The coolant will circulate between the engine and the uh, radiator all the time. And as a result, guys, it's not going to warm up enough, especially cold winter months and highway driving. And after uh, some driving, you may get that cold. Now, this is, guys, one of the reasons, the most common one. Nine out of ten times, it's bad thermostat. What is number two, guys? It could be a faulty temperature sensor that's not reading correctly. That could happen as well. And if that happens, guys, okay, if that happens, uh, you will need to replace the coolant temperature sensor so, uh, so the car can start reading correctly again. Because it may think, let's say the coolant is 60 degrees Celsius, but it's actually 90. That has happened in the past, or uh, it could be super slow to respond, so uh, it could be, guys, bad sensor as well. But in most cases, you buy the whole thermostat housing with the replacement sensor, so I'll, replace, I'll, I'll suggest to replace it if your car has more than uh, 60,000 miles, guys. So this is it, guys. This will fix your problem most likely. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time.